Ladies and gentlemen, I'm with the McCovey Cove Dave. Dave, I'm Alicia. This is Bleed Lows Podcast. We focus on Dodgers, tacos, anything Dodgers baseball. You're a Giants fan. Did you fly in here from San Francisco just to get your ball signed by Muncie? I definitely did. I came down this morning from the Bay Area. I wanted to get Max to sign two home run balls that he hit into McCovey Cove, especially this one here. This is the uh, home run he hit against Mad Bum. And... Uh, that's a famous one, yes. like more famous than... It's a great rivalry ball. I think you could argue that in the last 20 years, this might be the biggest Dodger-Giants rivalry home run. It was a bitter pill for the Giants because we lost one to nothing. <laughs> and the home run was hit in the first inning on a very hot day. And uh, the words between Max and Mad Bum really made it memorable. Right, and then you even have that. Can I can I just show the shirt? Because so many things were said, like you mentioned. We won't say all the words that were said between Bumgarner and Muncie, but that's one of my favorites. Right. So <laughs> as I understand, Mad Bum, who is a, kind of a short fuse, after this majestic home run that went out about 300, uh, 435 feet into McCovey Cove, he said, "Don't walk, run to Max Muncie," and Max Muncie didn't want any part of that. He said, hey, if you want that ball, you can get it out of the ocean. But he didn't. I did. I had to swim for it against young guys. And I was a uh, national champion at swimming sports when I was younger. So I, I swam and there was no way the young guys were going to get it. Okay. So go ahead. Let's put this down so you're comfortable. Hold on to that ball because that's fascinating to me. I assumed you were in a kayak. You swam to get the ball. Yes, I did. Oh, I guess that makes sense, right? It's not going to jump in the kayak. My bad. <laughs> so normally I pick up the ball with my hand, but the ball was hit so far. I was at 425 feet or 420 feet. He hit it over my head, which is kind of a panic because it's easier when you're kayaking to go forward. Here I had to do what's called back paddle. It's like backing up a car and against competition and uh, there were other people that were closer to me and uh, so I paddled and at the last second I bailed out of my kayak because there was a buoy kind of blocking my way which would make it hard for me to get my kayak in but um, I got it and uh, you know it's a very special ball someday I'm going to give this uh, to Max Muncie it's going to be when I'm very old but he'll I think when he's middle aged, he'll appreciate it. So two things. Let me, let's see that signature. I, and again, um, McCovey Dave, he came out here just to get Max Muncy's signature on that ball. And so you hadn't had it before today. That's yeah. So I found out about this through social media, uh, and literally an hour after it was announced, I got on it because photos are hard, particularly for Dodger players after the World Series. So I, I got down here. And I had to work yesterday and be up at 4 in the morning, but I said, you know what, I'm getting up early again today because I want to meet Max Muncy yes. and, uh, and, and meet Dodger fans. And so he signed it with his name, and he also wrote the Ocean Homer. So to oh. him, he considers it the Ocean Homer. Someday, this will probably be on his mantle and uh, a good memory of a great sport. That is so awesome. And the second thing I wanted to mention, you said something about... You had to jump in the ocean. You had to swim be against the young guys. Yes. Swimming keeps us young, yes. right? That's yes. why you, you could compete with. I'm pretty yes. sure you you I were a swimmer. I <laughs> swim. I swim like one to three miles every week, even though at 68, and I uh, lift weights because paddling requires you to use your shoulders and arms. So. I've got to compete against the 30 and 40 year olds, but there's a bunch of little tricks you learn in, over time, and uh, those things help me you, to be where the ball's going to land is the most important thing. So I move, I shift in the, in the uh, McCovey Cove for different locations for each player. Shohei Otani or Freeman would have a different positioning than Max Muncy, and that gives me. So a lot you of study, work. you prepare. I do. I I go crazy. I mean, if. If people Just saw, like a pitcher. <laughs> yeah, I even study the pitchers that pitch it because the pitchers have tendencies. Most splash hits are hit off right-handed pitchers. So when right-handed pitchers up that gives up a lot of home runs, I'm really alert. And uh, on days when it's cold and windy, I try to stay home because generally the wind blows the ball away from the McCovey Cove. So I, I go to the 40 or 50 best games each year.
I was just going to say how many, 40 or 50 games. That's dedication. Yeah. Can I ask about how many balls? Do you know how many balls you have from the coach? I do. I have 57 splash hit home runs. And uh, in all the years I've been there, 84 have landed. So I have like 65 or 70 percent of the balls that landed. And uh, it's been a lot of fun. And um, right now I have 739 full games in my kayak. And there's only one player, a Giants player, that has played more games inside. It's not Pablo Sandoval or Barry Bonds, it's Brandon Crawford. So my goal is to play more games than Brandon Crawford, if I can. <laughs> That's excellent. High five. Congratulations. You got that signature. Yes. Such it's a been, special ball. It's been a great day. It's been fun meeting Max Muncy and you guys. Thank you so much. Dodger fans treating you well? Treating me very well. Very friendly. Nice, nice. Take care. Have Thank safe you. travels back to, to the Bay Area.